Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have this um, radical simplification before us here. How do we simplify this without the use of the calculator? It's very easy. Okay, so let's take our solution without much waste of time. We'll have our solution. All right, now we want to solve this challenge starting from the inner term here. So we have here 16 into root 12. Here we have 64 and 60 here. So we can factor out 16 from the system here, right? So let's go ahead and factor 16 from here first. So this is going to give us here the square root of our 9, the plus the square root of 16 into 16 into 64 will give us 4, the plus 16 into 16 will give us 1. So here we're left with what? Our Square root of 12 here. Okay. So what we do next here is this. Oh, sorry, let's close this bracket here. We know that 12 can be expressed as 4 times 3, right? So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So if we do that, this is going to give us here our 9 plus the square root of our 16, then into 4, then plus the square root of 4 times. 3, right? Okay. So, again, we know we can rewrite this according to the law of um, uh, sort, which says that the square root of A times B is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B. So, if we separate this, this will give us 2. And so, the whole of this is going to give us the square root of our 9 the flux square root of 16 into our 4, the plus 2 into 3. Okay, let's close our bracket here. Now, what we want to do here is very easy. Because the essence of this video is to um, uh, learn or to give out the tips on how to solve simplification of this kind without wasting much time now look at what we have here now this is a perfect square this could be written as two to the power of two okay so how do we simplify this and here we are having two and we have square root of three so this brings us to uh, the algebraic identity which says that if you have your um, a plus b all to the power of two this is equal to our a to the power of two plus two a b plus b to the power of 2. We remember this? Good. So if we have this in mind, then what is our a, b, a? Our a, b, a is just the square root of 3, a. Okay? So for us to split this into our a, b, a, it is easy. So let's take our a, a, and our b, a. So the factors of the square root of uh, 3 will give us we could get it from 1 times the square root of 3. That is to say, our a is 1 and b and uh, b is uh, square root of 3. And we can alternate it to give us a square root of 3 times 1. So these are the only two possible ways we can uh, factor the square root of 3. Okay. So from this now, we now check the one that where we add the two together, square them will now give us something of this kind. And so let's try our um, square root of 3 plus 1 out to the power of 2. This is simply bracket the square root of 3 plus 1 out to the this into this. So if we open up, this is going to give us here, this time this will give us 3 plus, this time this will give us square root of 3, the plus this times this will give us square root of 3, the plus 1. And this will end up giving us 3 plus 2 into the square root of 3 plus 1. We can add this one and this to give us 4 plus 2 yeah, into the square root of 3. And that is the term we have in here. So we can put the whole of this in place of this. So this will end up giving us the square root of 9 plus... Square root 
Yeah, mind you, we have our 16 here, so we have 16. Then into uh, root 3 plus 1 all to the power of 2. So what happened, we rewrite this expression here. So this will now give us here 9 plus the square root of 16 times the square root of bracket root 3 plus 1 all to the power of 2. So let's continue on this side here. So from here, we discover that this radical, that square will go with this radical. And the square root of uh, 16 will give us what? 4. So the whole of our expression will now be current here. This now implies here we have the square root of 9, the plus, here we have 4, into the square root of 3, the plus 1. Close our bracket. So, from here, what we do, we open up this bracket again. So, if we open up this, we're going to have this to be our square root of 9 plus 4 into the square root of 3 plus 4. We can add this and this together. It gives us here 13 plus 4 into the square root of 3. Now, look at what we have here now. You discover that what we have here is similar to what we have here, okay? The only difference is this two here, and here we have four. So we can write it in a way whereby we bring out this um, uh, two out here. So write, rewriting the, this will now give us here, 13 plus two into two into the square root of three. Easy. All right. Now, we are having 13 here. We are having two here. So we want to look for our a, b from here now. Two factors of two root three that we can express in this um, uh, format again. All we just need to do, since the first one, which is um, uh, this very one here, we express it in this format. All we just need to do is to put two at the back here, there plus one, and square it. It will give us everything we have here. In other words, we can rewrite this as the square root bracket 2 into the square root of 3 plus 1 all to the power of 2. This is what it's going to give us. In other words, everything we have here, we simplify, is going to give us this, which is automatically this. But we can confirm. So from here, if we check, here we have a 2 into the square root of 3, the plus our 1 all to the power of 2. So this is the same thing as bracket 2 into the square root of 3 plus 1 plus bracket into uh, 2. Let's take 2 first, 2 into the square root of 3 plus 1. So if we open up this time, this will give us 4 into root 3 all to the power of 2. This time, this will give us plus 2 into the square root of 3. Then we come to this, this time, this will give us our um, Is that what we have there? Yeah, this time this will give us this. Then we come to the this time this will give us plus two into the square root of three, and this time this will give us plus one. So we can add this and this together to give us here. Here we're going to have here four, and this will give us times three plus bracket plus this plus this will give us four into root three plus one. Four times three will give us twelve. So we have twelve plus four root three plus one. 1 plus 12 will give us 13 plus 4 root 3. So this shows that the expression here, when simplified, we give us our expression, which is this. And so uh, the whole of this is what is what gives us this now. And we've shown that this is equivalent to this, which is also this. So what happens, this radical goes with this square. So we end up having our 2 root 3 plus one as the final answer to the simplification. Yeah. So without the use of the calculator, see, so this is how you solve for this. All right, so if you learn something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up, and if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe, because at Lord Lyman's TV, we release math solutions all the time for your learning, for your phone, okay? Thanks for being there, keep watching, all I must TV, even as we are there to bring out more for you. Bye for now.